Hey guys, Trackline here on my Assassination Rogue. I just posted a few new macros that all work for the latest update, so I thought I'd post a video for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste all the macros, or if you have the Impulse add-on, you can come up here, click Impulse, and yeah, just choose your modifier and the macros will go straight to your hotbar. Or go to the Actions tab and sift through all their macros and they'll go straight to your macro tab. Also, of course, I have a link down to all my uh, add-ons, my bartenders, shadow frames. Uh, everyone always asks. So, yeah, all my add-ons and all the macros you see in the video, I posted links for all of them down in the description for you guys. So, the first macro I tested was a shadow step mouse over, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals mouse over, harm, exist, no dead, shadow step. And if you want to switch it out for something else, you can just switch it here and here. Leave that semicolon in between. And yeah, put whatever you want in there. Uh, so how this type of macro works is if you just have a single target with nobody else moused over, it's always going to work on your single target, just like the normal spell would. Uh, if, and the second way you, it can work is, let's say I have a single target, and I want to, let's just say I'm fighting this guy, and I want to shadow step to somebody else. You can just simply mouse over them. You don't have to deselect your current target and do this. So you just shadow step to your um, mouse over like that. And the last way it can work, of course, is you don't need a single target or anything like that. You can just simply mouse over people and shadow step them. So yeah, this macro is really good for, you know, your CCs, your interrupts, and a lot of your damaging spells, depending on your play style. Uh, but yeah, that's the first macro. On to the next. Next up is a focus kick macro, which looks like this. Slash cash bracket target equals focus, exist, no dead kick. And just like the last one, you can switch it out here and here. Leave that semicolon. So how this works is if you just have a single target with um, no focus target at all, it'll always work on your single target, just like this. Uh, but let's say I do have a focus target, like this dummy will be on my focus. And on this UI, my focus is here, as you can see me switching it. So now that I do have a focus, it's always going to go on my focus rather than my single. And it's not even going to work on my single if I have a focus, as you can see right here. But I would just come over here, kick my focus, and come back. And I also have a setup for um, kidney shot, the same macro, just so you can see it. So if this guy's on my focus now, I can just come over here, kidney shot him, kidney shot my focus, come back. So another good uh, macro for like your CCs, your interrupts. I've also seen people set up where most of their spells are like this. So they can just, if they have a focus, they can do whatever they want to their focus. And then turn off their focus, come back to the single, and do whatever they want to the single. Uh, once again, it just depends on your play style. I also have a macro if you want to get your focus on and off quicker, which looks like this. I'll just like, you can just copy and paste it. So uh, how this type of macro works is if you just, hover over anybody you can you can just simply hover over them and click it and they'll go on your mouse your focus like that or if you want to switch you can just simply hover over them and double click they'll switch focuses for you uh what's that grunt all uh, right it's kind of hard to see with all these dummies but yeah that's me f uh switching so you just double click because it takes them on and off and even if you have a single target it doesn't matter it doesn't switch anything there's the grunt so yeah, you can just double click and it'll take, uh, take them on and off. It's a quick way to get your focus on people and take it off people. Uh, so yeah, I recommend just playing around with it and see if, you, see if you like it or not. And the last macro I tested today was a modifier for mutilate and rupture, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket modifier alt, rupture, semicolon mutilate. And if you never used a modifier before, you can switch out the alt for something like shift or control. If that's easier for you. And what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So as you can see here on my keybind is the macro. If I just hit my key normally, it's going to be my mutilate, just like that. But if I hold down alt and hit the same key, it's going to be my rupture, just like that. Uh, maybe I should go slower. Okay, so normal key, mutilate. Hold down alt and hit the same key, rupture, just like that. Uh, so yeah, this is, these modifiers are good for a couple reasons. First, you can save on interface space. Like right now, if I set up all my keys, it'd be nice to, uh, you know, have all those modifiers because you can save on uh, 
interface space because you have more keys or more spells per key. And more importantly, say you're really good with a certain keys like uh, the A key and the S key and keys around those keys. Or you can just set up modifier markers for those keys instead of trying to get good with keys you're not already good at. Like on the top side or the right side of your keyboard. So yeah, you become a little more efficient with uh, your keys and your spells by using modifiers like that. Alright guys, well that's the last macro I tested today on Assassination Rogue. If you want to see more Assassination Rogue macros, just drop a like on the video and I'll know you enjoyed it and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.